Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo está el cubo? Hi, how you doing? I'm Dr. Andres Aragoneses and I'm going to guide you through the amazing, exciting, impressive, sometimes hard, but always interesting and very convenient world of classical mechanics. You might know me from courses like Special Relativity, Quantum Mechanics, or the 150 and 160 series. If that's not the case, let me introduce a bit myself. I'm assistant professor at Eastern, but before here I taught at Carleton College in Minnesota, and before that at Duke University in North Carolina, and before that at the Polytechnic University of Catalonia in Spain, Europe, and the Autonomous University of Barcelona in Spain, and the University for Distance Learning also in Spain. I am doing research in complex dynamics in lasers, but before that I did some research in quantum optics and also in polymers and in cosmology. You can check all that on the internet. So this course on classical mechanics, this is the course where you match your work as a potential physicist. You'll make a leap from the introductory courses in physics, where everything was perfect, easy, spherical, beautiful, to closer to the real world, where things are not symmetric, things are not in a vacuum, things are not smooth. And the math becomes a bit more fancy. So this course will provide you with a much wider and better toolbox to solve physics problems. First, we'll face those cases where we don't want to approximate. Then we'll make friends with our always present friction. We'll study the widespread harmonic oscillator, but we'll salt and pepper. We will add air resistance and external forcing. We'll introduce a completely new approach to classical mechanics, Lagrangians and Hamiltonians, two alternative and very powerful ways to introduce physics from scratch, solve problems in physics, and open the door for quantum mechanics and general relativity. How's the course going to be structured? Well, this is a synchronous course. This means that we have a place and time to meet every week. As a matter of fact, we have two times to meet each week. Lectures will be delivered in videos. The videos for each week will be posted the Friday before. Uh, you will have all weekend and Monday to watch them. Then we'll meet on Tuesday and Fridays. And our meetings will solve doubts, engage discussions and solve the homework problems. The meetings will be recorded and posted so you can watch them again and again, or in case you couldn't make it. There will be sets of homework problems. The goal of those problems is that you practice and, practice and gain confidence in physics. We'll solve them in class and I won't collect them. We'll have an exam every other week. Those exams will be about the content of the previous two weeks. I'll drop the lowest grade of those exams, but there won't be retakes or extensions. There will not be a final exam unless you request it. If you don't like the grade you get, you can take the final exam. The final exam will be your final grade and I will discard wherever you got in your partial exams. Exams will have some short exercises and some long problems that you will have to write on a sheet of paper that you'll upload to Canvas. I'll be available for you in office hours for clarifications and discussions or just to talk about any topics of physics or even science fiction if you're interested in. Use office hours and use office hours. Do not allow to miss any idea, any equation or any misunderstanding Ask me questions. Use of use hours. Use hours. Make sure you read the syllabus. Do not assume anything. Go and read it to make sure you understand everything. If there's anything you don't understand or anything you don't like, just let me know the first week. I'm open to discussion. Be aware that this course is not going to be a walk in the woods. Well, uh, maybe it's a walk in the woods with a... Uh, Bat wolf hiding somewhere. 
you need to put time and effort. You need to solve all the homework problems before we solve them in class. Try them. Talk to your peers. Talk to me. You need to watch all my lectures and you need to read all the assigned readings from the textbook. About the textbook, if you are going to take Classical Mechanics 2, Physics 362, you better get the Classical, classical Dynamics textbook by Thornton and Marion. But there are other good textbooks out there. There's going to be quite a bunch of math here. You can pause the video lectures to make sure that you follow it all. Use wisely your time, use office hours, and may the science be with you.